Hey everybody, Jimmy here. I'm just bringing you the highlights of my uh, more recent race of the at Twinburn Motegi in the uh, Dallara IndyCar. Um, this isn't the race that I filmed; it's a different one uh, in the bid to try and get this MPR sorted so I can get into the C class. Uh, reason why I uh, bring in the highlights of this is because it's actually more interesting than the race that I posted. It's a shame I wasn't recording at the time. I didn't want you guys to miss out on it, so here you go. So as you can see I started about I started seventh on the grid, had a fairly decent start, got up to sixth pretty much straight away and then uh, settled into the race from there. Um, it, it things were going well for me and I kinda of lost my rhythm halfway through the race for some reason. I started falling back through the field, I'm not quite sure what happened, but it was a bit difficult for me. So you see here I'm actually down in seventh place now. Um, just sizing up the guy in sixth at the moment. I forget the number of the car. Um, what I was trying to do is get the run out the uh, around the outside here. Uh, it's a free car, as you can see. There you go. And um, it wasn't really working for me, so I decided to kind of tuck back in, take the uh, the shadow, more shadow line into the the corner, then um, use the toe of the car directly in front of the free car here, the, the red car in front. I think it's the six car, and uh, then pull myself round. Now I don't quite make it in time for um, for turn one and two here, but if you take turn one and two too tight, you actually hit the bumps at the, uh, the bottom and it slows you down quite considerably. Which you can see here, it allows me to get underneath that free car and uh, put myself in a better position for inside of three and four. Um, here it's just a matter of breaking a tiny bit later than he did and holding my line and that was um, that was sick place for me. Um, pretty happy with that overtake to be honest considering the, the, the massive amount of uh, downfall I had so uh, well on the way back to uh, getting my positions back. You can see now just on board now the 15 cars to the right of me that was sick place at the time. Oh, sorry, fifth place and uh, getting alongside him again, coming down to three and four. Same place we overtook that free car. Really having uh, the car started to work for me in the second part of the race. I'm not sure if I just got into a better rhythm or not, but this is that's what happened here. And I um, ended up pulling away from him, getting into the, t the toe again of that uh, six car in front. I think it was that six car was quick, it was pretty much pulling me through the, the traffic, so I uh, tried to stay with it. Um, here now you can see uh, I have to get the number of his car. I really should have got the number of his cars for a start. Oh, that's a six car, I can't lie. <laughs> well, this is a six car and uh, he was very fighty. I got overtaken by him earlier on in the race and he was very aggressive on the way through. Um, I decided to try and take this, take this one a bit, uh, a bit more safely. Again, getting that toe off that red car, which is in fact the four car, actually taking it around the outside this time. Um, not quite managing, managing to make it stick. Um, just there, but using the toe of that four car, the red car in front, as he managed to pull in front again, so that four car helped me again. Now, this is the restart after a caution, and I had a, a big wheel to me, as you can see there, quite a, quite scary action in the restart, but I actually get past that four car before we get to the start finish line, and a really good restart, and I was really happy with it, and that put me on the back of this uh, yellow car in front, the second place car. First and second place car were pretty much gone for the entire race, and only the cautions brought us back together, so I was pretty pleased to be that high. You see now this is me alongside that nine car, I've got a bit of a run on him actually through uh, one and two and using the six stream going up the hill um, towards three and four to get around the outside but I you know, give him much room, as, as little room as I can without giving him too much room to run round and uh, still alongside him at this point you can see there just on the left of me and uh, I take a very wide entry into turn one in an effort to try and uh, cut back and get a, a good exit onto, out of turn two but the plan works somewhat and I get actually um, underneath the uh, Number nine here. I'm just uh, taking the last bit of a slip through before I manage to make my move. Yeah, you see there, just to get underneath him, he misjudges his braking a little bit. We get a big wreck behind us, which obviously means a caution. So, in that little uh, restart, I got up two places and I was very, very pleased with myself at this point. Uh, we restarted pretty much on the last lap. Uh, this is only one lap to go, and I thought, okay, well, I'll have a go at getting first place. So, I um, watching watching them with a Hawkeye on the restart, didn't want to drop behind at all. Uh, Try to use the draft a bit, try to get a bit closer. This guy with the restarts, obviously, he, he sets the pace. He was uh, well ahead of me, very quick. And you can see here, just the aerial view here, I'm starting to close up a bit on the on the, uh, the back straight of a slipstream. Not really quite enough, though. I actually uh, don't get the last corner right, I'm a bit too deep and hit the white line, slowing me down a bit, which allows the car behind to get a bit closer. Uh, luckily, it's not close enough, though, and we actually finished the race in second place.